So today finds me working on this trailer. See I've got the axle supported with jack stands. Got one in the cross and then another one is back up. That frees the jack up to work underneath. So what we have here, the primary complaint is just that uh, the water tank's hitting the axle and that happened after these just got bent to snot. You see these were actually on the axle here. Total failure. We've got a little bulge in this one too. This one was sagged clear down. So this was jacked up with a jack like you see here and uh, just kind of put to make do but we need to secure this up a little bit better so here's what we're doing you saw how bent this rib was um, you see how straight this one is that was achieved by using a 2x4 block and then filling in the gap with a socket I put the socket in here and then jacked up the block until I got that back up straight and the objective is to get it straight enough that we can put something in it uh, take a runner or something and run it in through that so that it holds better. Uh, the gauge is way too high on this. You know, it's just too thin to be able to support the weight of this big tank. The tank isn't even good enough to hold the support of the water in the tank. So it's being borne by these and as you can see they're just getting bent and crushed and they're just a mess. So we're gonna do something about that. So this one's still bent. You can see it's got a lot of bow to it. And all I'm going to do is crank the jack handle and jack it up. And with that socket in place, it can't go anywhere but straight. The nice thing about the 2x4 is that it does that over a large area. I'll take it just a little too far. I'll go past the point of being straight. Here the socket take up the slack. Now we're bending it back the other way. So when you look down this thing, you'll see that it's about straight right now, but if we let go, it's going to go back to bowed. So what I'm going to do is keep going past straight until it's bowing up a little bit. You know who knows all about flex bowing? <laughs> look at the wings. So I've gotten to the point where I'm really starting to crush my 2x4 now. I'm bowed past what it should be. And now when I let it down, so this is clear up off the axle now, instead of resting on it and getting hit. I mean this whole tank's just a mess, this just was not made very well. You can see where somebody's over tightened it and there's just not enough to fight up against that. This thing's just not built to last at all. So you see what we have over here versus what we have here, it's a big improvement. And then like I say, we can pass something all the way through here. And it's not perfectly straight. You can't even see light through it. But it's close enough you can pound something in there to, to bolster it up. I've got some square tube that we're going to use to do that. And then we're going to weld in some brackets here. Now the way this is supposed to work is you see that they slide through there. And then it's bolted on this end on this angle iron. Uh, but the angle iron's all bent. Normally I'd just take this thing down, toss it out, and work with it on the ground. But... I don't know why I'm being stupid and going this way. The owner asked me if I could just tack a couple things in here, but I'm going the extra mile with this because I can. And it's fun. I'd rather do it right, right? Right. So I'll have to be quick before the battery's dead. But I basically put angle iron in here like a shelf just to hang. This was so thin, I didn't really want to anchor into that alone. So I boxed it all up. And by creating a box, that'll give the support that it's needed. And then I just did the supports along each of the ribs after straightening them significantly. So they're actually pretty stout. And you have better surface area to support the weight of the tank. What's well, not to love about that? All while keeping weight down by using this thinner gauge but doing it double wall. There's a tube inside of each of these to give the strength that's needed. You can see where I was impatient with the wind. I'm using shielding gas and shielding gas and wind, you know, it's pretty obvious that there was no wind here and that there was a lot of wind here and I wasn't patient. I just went for it anyway. But overall, I'm pretty happy with the way that it turned out. I think that this will be easy to grind off if it's ever needed, um, you know, where it's needed. And once those bolts are gone, you should be able to pry this down enough and around to get off of there. I think I ruined that one. <laughs>
Ha 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 ha!